There's Wilson. You ready for dinner, Wilson? I don't know that you are ready. Whoa, whoa, easy. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Where's my tripod, Wilson? There it is. Hold it. Hold it. Chill out. I'm busy. Very busy. That's a it's got crooked off. Okay. Wilson. Don't knock over my tripod, Wilson. It's a little bit crooked. Man, this tripod's a piece of junk. See you, Aaron. Opossum, oh, we're a little crooked. I'm early. Just gonna set it up here. Got to feed the dog. And then work on fishing stuff. Got a lot of hooks to tie up, so I'd be around for a while. Come here. 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 Come Seven o'clock came rolling around a lot quicker than I thought it would, you guys. I am not ready. I was gonna clean the clean the house and everything else, and I started went to the boat. I got some hooks out, and then went to the grocery store. Let's, see, let's put on some. Relaxing. I got another phone so I can see chat and maybe I'll figure out how to make everyone a moderator. And then my buddy Killian's coming over here. But I'm gonna do about like at least two dozen herring up. So I figured that would be good for a live because right now I can't see chat, so I got all kinds of stuff to do. Look, there's some smaller herring. Got some some hooks. Treble hooks. We're gonna make those all up. Five out trebles. We got the I got the petite paper clips. Got all kinds of stuff here. All kinds of stuff I don't need to do. Light. Hold on, just hold on. It's not even, not even seven yet. <laughs> it was snowing like crazy. I gotta just take you guys out and you watch the snow. Got groceries. Got all these ready. Look at those. And, uh, Chrome Hunter Brine. What you guys are saying? My phone is locked. I can't. You know, I was trying to turn it earlier and it was locked. It wouldn't let me do it. Orientation locked. Orientation locked. And then my iPhone has got kind of got a bad battery. So I didn't want to. 
This one's got a good battery. Figure it out later. Already a big mess. I don't need to make a mess. It's a huge mess. Look, here's my routine for the boat. I take coffee and this for my thermos. And then I have this massive coffee cup. So I got my cutters, brought those off the boat. My regular line shears for mass producing fishing equipment. And then I got these are the herring hooks that I didn't, uh, that I used, that I didn't re rig Saturday. And then I got I found a handful more hooks on the boat so I can rig up. I use I use copper wire sometimes, so I cut some sections of wire out in case I need to make more copper wire. Here's even more hooks. Listen, you no hook for the dog. Here. We're gonna work somewhere in this area. I broke my tripod. Like the first day I had it, I broke it. One of the legs is busted on. So it's sitting a little crooked. It wants to fall over. Maybe I can fix it. I fixed it. No. Just don't touch it, Wilson. <laughs> oh, it's trying to get away. Get a little bit of duct tape to fix that. Where's Zed? Ed Edmonton? Got it in there. Our tools together here. We're going to need a knife. Man. Get, get, get. My old roses died. I was had some roses. Tough. I got this nice rose bush. Died. So this is one. I you didn't think you'd see that, Glacier Shark. <laughs> so you don't like the roses. One more on here. Big one. Yeah, it's like a trophy. It's a trophy rose. Ow! 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 Got that going for us. That's all we need. <laughs> What do I do with my shears? I'll knock over that tripod this time.
<laughs> See if I can open it on this one. <laughs> Don't do that, Wilson. Oh, that was a Anybody know how to do this YouTube stuff? I invited Stuart, but I didn't see him. Craft on him. Can't get off the screen of the comments. Come on. <laughs> What, Wilson? Can you go into studio? You've been fed. I fed you. No, you don't get to eat more. Well, I might not be able to chat because I can't get the it's like locked up. Every time I go live, it malfunctions with the YouTube. Touch it, Wilson. No. Let's see here. It's the best spot for this. Turn it that way. Thanks, Vandal. I'm gonna try and get this set up so you guys can see what I'm doing. Sit down. As there's quite a bit of work to be done. There is. There is quite a bit. What I got on sale, some new ammo. Listen, was it $28 for that? <laughs> I'm going to make bait. I got to make, I got to make these herring into, put these hooks in those herring. It's called threading herring. Son of a bitch. I forgot my needle, didn't I? I gotta go all the way back to the boat, Wilson, get my needle. Shit. Let's go for a, tr let's go for a truck ride. On the agenda is a tr truck ride through Yakutat, but I can't. Damn it. You know what? You know what? Dang it. I'm gonna leave you guys outside. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run down and get my I gotta go get a tool real quick and then I'll be back I'll be back in 20 minutes Twenty minutes 20 minutes 
got my needle. Gillian will probably come while I'm gone. It's on a seven. Better get my other phone. Hold on. Check back. Check back in a little bit. Maybe I'll have Killian and come keep you guys. Load them up. Get in there. I don't have internet on the run or I take you with me. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Oh, hey, guys. We got some music playing in here. We got some, some fireplace music on the TV. Oh, nice. Let's see what Devin's got going on. Right here. So we're flip this around. There we go. Let's see what's going on. 
Who who is this fool? Oh, um, I'm the new Devin. Uh, Devin said he needed, he wanted a pro on his video, so I was like, all right, Devin, you you, you need a, you need a pro. I'll I'll step I'll step in and I'll show these guys what's up. Um, uh, yeah, my name's my name's Killian. Uh, and I, and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be taking this over for the evening. Um. I'm just kidding. I'm taking this over for about ten minutes. Uh, so he wanted. What is he doing here? Is he he's putting treble hooks on these things? All right. Um. Uh, I don't know what he. I don't know what he's doing right now. Look at that. Okay, but here I'll I'll tie I'll tie up a piece of gear for you guys. Um. Let's see. What are, you, what are you guys saying? Let's see. Oh, hey. All right. All right. Let's. Look. Where's his line at? Oops. Did you guys see where he put it? His line. That's all I need to know. <laughs> we'll save him. <laughs> where is Wilson? <laughs> oh, I think he took him with him. Oh man. Any line. Anyways, guys, I was gonna I was gonna tie up a a leader that's been working really well for me. Yeah, yeah, that's Wilson. Yeah. <laughs> Devin said he fell off his boat one time. I I, I could imagine he was like Wilson. <laughs> uh, but this was working really good for me last season. Uh, you know, I put it out this season. This is a, a a needlefish, needlefish ace high fly. But um, except they're they're a lot better with the with the red dot eyes. Uh. Let's see. Okay, so so this is something that's been working for me really good this season. This this looks a lot like a like a really good hoochie here. I can't I can't remember the number of it. Um, we have a name for it. Uh, we we call it the pinnacle hoochie here. This isn't the pinnacle hoochie. The pinnacle hoochie has a UV under underglow, but uh, this is something I have higher up in my spread and. You know, it's even been smoking that pinnacle hoochie down below. So I've been getting these, and it's kind of kind of an expensive, uh, very expensive little thing. Um, uh, but I mean, it's been working really well. Uh, so I, so I, you know what? I I don't use this type of ace high fly in here. I use the bigger one. This is the needlefish one. But uh, but I've been sticking it inside this. See through. You got some blue, some pink in there. Uh, I don't know where his hundred pound test is, or I would tie it up for you guys. But uh, that's been doing amazing. Uh, you know, and I and I know I know is that 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 does, that does a lot to a good hoochie is 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 putting an ace high fly in it. There's twinkle skirts too. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw the video where Devin. 
tied up a hoochie in his house and he was he was like pick a hoochie and it was um and he was making fun of me calling it the Car- Katy Perry hoochie but he put some uh some copper colored twinkle skirt in it and um and that's I've been I've been smoking some fish on it and I thought maybe it was just because I had it on the ball but I I switched it out with with one of these but they're not eating a lot of needlefish right now so um, it was, uh, let's see, it was purple with a pink underbelly and lots of sparkles and it, yeah, it's, it's been doing pretty well. Um, sorry guys. I, uh, Print on this is so small. I wonder if I can turn it sideways. Nope. Well, let's see what he's got going in here. Some herring brining with that crawl hunter. So it's been working pretty well. I um left town for a few days and I just like left it, left one of my hooks with some herring. Uh, Baited on it, dried out, dried out in the weather, and uh, still caught fish this morning. Like week old herring. Let's look at these roses. Are there any ladies in the audience? I got these. I got these nice roses. Any ladies in the audience? I have. A, I have a feeling there's not any ladies in the audience. So, um, put these roses away. So, uh, who do we have in the audience? Oh, there's seven of you. Nice. All right. Uh, are you guys? Are you? Are you guys? Um, you're down southeast. Oh, oh, my, oh, my name's Killian. Sorry, I should have introduced myself earlier. Devin wanted me to split some of the tails on these herring for you guys, but uh, oh, I see a knife here. Oh, he keeps everything. Oh, that's his robot vacuum. Oh, let's try it out. Stand up straight. Everywhere. Hey, 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 nice to meet you too. Oh, wow, you guys are all Missouri. Where, 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 are, you, where are you guys all? Uh, where are you guys all from?
So you, you guys all done a little bit of uh, king salmon trolling? Okay, I'm throwing that back. Oh wow! Wow, you guys, you guys are, you guys are from all over. Yeah, I, yeah, I've never, I've never been over to the East Coast. I've, uh, the farthest I've gone past the, past the Mississippi. I think it was like Mississippi, but just barely in there. Oh, you're from Anchorage? I, yeah, I, I, I uh, yeah, I, I, I kind of live in Anchorage, but I'm never really there. <laughs> um. Always busy. So, uh, you guys, uh, you guys do, you guys do some, uh, some trolling. Oh, Devin's walking in. Um, I just want to say all the bad words I can. Fuck. Shit. Ass. Sorry, that's it. Okay. Hey, Devin. What have you done? Oh, I, I, I didn't do anything. I just... Yeah. Uh, well, you had to... Oh, you got it switched around. Good. Yeah, I just... Man, you're uh, killing it. Get, sit back down there. Drink some stuff. Got nine people in there. They're enjoying your company. Oh, yeah, huh? What yeah, we, yeah, yeah. It was seven about two minutes ago, and now there's nine of them. That's what I forgot. The needle. Can they see it? You gotta have yeah, this. They, yeah, they can see it. Gotta have that. Did you find the leader? The leader? No, I, I didn't find. When it. I left, I was like, yeah, and then I couldn't, I couldn't remember where I put it. There it is. It's behind the chair, on the floor. And then I got some, uh, need some stuff to go with that. Maybe you got a hook. Uh, yeah, just get yeah, the pliers. All right, I'm going to make, make one liter. It was in one place I didn't look right behind the, <laughs> behind the chair. Let's see. Um, I... I thought I used needlefish ace high flies on this, but you can see now that I don't. But I'll I'll still tie it up that way anyways. I'll put a bead in. Okay, no bead. Uh, I, I have a, I have a boat, um, I, I have a hand troll boat. No, 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 we're not neighbors. I was, I was just, uh, I was, I was coming over earlier. Um, oh so yeah, we, uh. fish um next next to each other but we don't we don't use the same gear devin won't use my katie perry hoochie <laughs> that hoochie was killing it. it it was oh yeah it's, it's been killing it Some on it today. 
Oh, I got the chicken. Oh, yeah, we're not, we're not neighbors. I don't even know where you If are. you start spooning, I'm gone. <laughs> oh, man, they just made this weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he said, he said, if you start spooning, I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> Zed's place. <laughs> I was unboxing a bunch of stuff the other day. You said you can't wait for me to open the blow up doll. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's funny because he uh, he picked up a bunch of packages from the post office a few days ago, and uh, and I was and you know and and he he told me he's like yeah I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a live unboxing. I was like oh this is perfect. I'm I'm just I'm gonna send you a Big box of dildos. <laughs> okay. Oh, I didn't show you guys that knot. Uh, you, you guys, you guys have all seen the. You guys have all seen the knot, though. The Palmer knot. Palmer. Palmer. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't think I've ever had that one um break. Oh, it's crazy strong. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, but those two dollar and fifty cent bullets will. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so is everybody else. <laughs> and I know they definitely hold a sea otter, you just have to have your scope sighted in. Well, somebody was saying the sea otters protect your health. You should not mess with them because they weak as hell. Spawn. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I heard it's bad luck to shoot the sea otters. They eat the sea urchins on the kelp. They eat the kelp. Stick it in there. Brought the ace high fly with you, huh? Yeah. Uh, not not this year, but I mean, if they're eating, if they're eating a bunch of needle fishes, well, th this one with the, the this this has been doing this has been doing really good this year with the ace high fly on the inside. It's uh, it it's it's like it, but it's see through. Nice, you got that from uh, Pacific Net. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I I have it I have it a little bit more. Oh, that's you know, sweet with the I, the clear belly. It shows the the tinsel in there, the twinkle skirt, or what what do you call it, the ace high fly? Yeah, it's 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 been yeah it's been doing really well. And that's I the, you know I have it I have a you know I have it a little bit what is mid it, the high B, water. B four O R S. I'm sure the numbers with these guys. I think I made that one a little short. It'll be fine. Okay, that one a little, little, little bit short. It'll, it'll be fine. Let's see. Spice hot cider stuff or tea? Uh, probably uh. Or cold coffee or hot coffee? Oh, probably probably just some cold coffee. Sweet. Okay. Yeah.
Yeah, I turned on your vacuum earlier, and it was just. Did you? Yeah. You got to give it space to go through. It started running into the chair. Because it thinks it can go through there. Oh. Hey, Wilson, come here. Wilson, come here, boy. Should we, should we, put, should we put this on, on a video? Yeah, go ahead. He doesn't care about it, though. He's just, he oh, wants. Oh, he doesn't? No. Oh. Hey. Thinks you're going to feed him. He doesn't care about that thing. Well, that's lame. <laughs> it is lame, isn't it? Oh, we got everything here. Taking your spot. You're going to cook dinner. <laughs> well, there's like a big bubble in the camera. I wonder, they probably can't see that though, huh? Uh, yeah, I think they could see it. Really? Did they say something? No, but they're, yeah, I'm sure they could see it if it's showing up on your screen like that. I did say sea urchin, Colin. But they're really small here. This camera's all twisted. It's skipping me out. How do I, how do I tilt it? Uh, that would be cool if it was. Hey, uh, you break the hey let's do the, that thing like on the... On the on the porn channels where they start sending us tips, like I'll bite like a head off a herring and go ahead. But bite they, the herring when they have off. they have to send they have to send um us tips first, so like we'll give them like a cash app or something. We're down to five. That's what I had. <laughs> that's what I had before. I had five. What I want to know is, are they looking at this mail order bride? Oh yeah. Oh, there's Did, a mail order bride. On? Zed again. Oh. Hey Zed, are you seeing a big like? bubble in the screen because i've dropped this phone in the water once why don't you go on live on go on youtube killian i was trying to do it with my other phone it wasn't working i'm gonna make oh, a big mess is, here oh that's a, Got the oh, needle. that's a nice one needle it, herring do big herring you ready i need a um a bag oh something to put them in put a Couple paper towels here. This is gonna be a mess. All these treble hooks everywhere. You ever threaded herring before, Julian? It's a green, green herring. There's Trapper Scotty. All right. So, man, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn it around. Did you guys have a bubble? Is it deform? Because on my on my screen, I'm showing like a big deformed spot right there. It's the camera. So nobody's nobody's answering me. They, yeah, I think it, I think there's a delay. There's a, the, yeah, you know, they would like start talking. And they, but this side sucks because you can't zoom in. What does that microphone do? I wonder if they can hear anything at all. Cause, well, it's, it shows the mic. Hey, Zed, can you hear me? Okay, they can see the... Can you hear me, Zed? <laughs> I'm flipping it around. I don't need to see chat. Look, I need to. I really need to do this work here because I've got to go fishing tomorrow. And it's more important than the live stream, which isn't paying me anything. So we're going to go like this. That's not a very nice thing to say to your viewers. I know. He didn't mean it, guys. It's the same people as always. They're they're always around. It's Zed. Trapper Scotty is an actual fisherman, I think. Oh, look at that. Here we go. <laughs> oh, it's the oven. It's up to temperature. So we got... Hey, look at the screen and tell me if you can see what I'm doing on here. Away, yeah. Lay the tail. Yeah, good. You did a very good job. I got this Victor Knox butter knife thing, but it's very okay. You can't see the knife. Okay. I got the Chrome Hunter brine, and I added some salt because I want them to be extra salty. Okay. Yeah. You said yeah. You just turn them off. And I'm not You're a bastard. And then um, they did not say that. 
But yeah, and then, who said that? Zed. I gave Zed. Zed does. No, and now now they're all getting into it. They're like they're like, oh yeah, he's a total fucker sometimes. <laughs> oh man, I dude, they're, 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 dude, they're going off on you. <laughs> <That's okay. All laughs> right. I just, I'm just kidding. Only one of them was. Stab this thing on there. Someone was telling me I could use a. Um, then we're gonna hook this on the other side of the table, over here. Or Killian, you hold it. Hold this Ooh. thing. The hook. Nah. They can't see that. It's okay. Stretch it out. I would put it on a, a nail. Or pull, pull it tight. Give me tension. There we go. They can't see you. See it? They're, yeah, they. I got tension on it. Killian's helping me. On the boat, I got a spot. And then pull it through. Cool. It's a big mess. Look at all the guts and everything. Got it. You release. What are you doing this for? This is called threading the herring. So then you turn the. Can you see it? Yeah. Turn the hook flat like that. And then you just poke it in. I played it a little bit too far. Did you catch a kings with that? <laughs> Put it in there too far. Then I had some. What happened to all that wire I had laid out here, killing? This is my wire. Oh. Oh. I don't know. I'm not the master with this stuff, but this guy was telling me how you do it. Um, and it would be cool if it worked. He said, you go in from the front. Can you see it? Yeah. The front, like this. Squeeze it on there. Then you get another one. Come in. Oh, come here. See, look, it's like a little alligator clip thing. Put the other one like this. Squeeze them on there. It pulls from the top. Is that clear? See it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See it. Let me get, let me get the whole thing. Go through here three times. We have to figure out somewhere to put all these things. I want to make a whole bunch of them. I would like like a tray, like a bait tray, but I threw all the bait trays away. What can we put them in, Killian? How about a um, Ziploc? <coughs> can you tie a polymer knot? Yeah, you can. Here, tie them. I have a bunch of these herring, these hooks. So how, how long do you make the leader? Um, I'm going like this. I'm like, like I, I go like this. And then, I don't know. Measure one. Look at them all. It's a long leader. But yeah, it is, is long. Is this shoulder. It is long. It's like 44 inches or something. It was working good. I got some tips. I have a video. It's called the secret ultra secret bait or something like that. Um, <laughs> from a highliner down there. In, uh, Craig, he caught 150 fish a day. Which isn't like even all that much for the highliners down there. What, 150 kings? Yeah. Oh, with this rig right here. We're gonna put it in there. We're gonna stack them in there. It goes through a lot of herring. That rig. You don't I know. Get, well, this you don't is each herring is a dollar, you guys, plus tax. <laughs> you don't want to get into the link cod with these. Well, there's not very many link cod right now out there. It's just came driving out. Oh, it, I, I got some. Uh, Were you fishing shallow today? Not really. I mean, like 75 feet. So I'm going to fillet this one a little bit less because I filleted it too far the last time. I don't know if I can see that. You just make two cuts and then break it out like that. Try and run the needle straight. You want this thing to go straight. You don't want it to roll. At least for power trolling. You know, you could put a toothpick in it and make it roll if you're going slow, but I'm trolling fast, fast. I need to find a spot for my. These things are on awesome. The current sucked today. It was like a, was like, it it was like a, a knot, knot and a half when you're going the wrong direction. Where's my one? And then they're only biting when, when you're going with it but you weren't going too fast when you're going with it, it was going like 
It was. You know what happens is that southeast, southeast current or the southeast wind goes with the current and then it speeds it up. This one's got the copper wire, man. Put this over here like this. Something to hook this on. Do you ever make fun of going on? Do you ever do you ever make fun of this Zed's place guy? Yeah. Yeah. He, he makes uh sculptures out of ant ants or something. Burns up all the ants and then what's left of it is a little Oh, like with a magnifying glass? I used to do that. No. When I, when it was like six. With a oh molten metal. Oh. Alright, so this one's not wait, working out. Right? Wait, 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 he burns up ants with molten metal? That's what I said. What what happens to them? Do, do they like become little statues? No, it's like the reverse. So the ants just burn up into nothing, but their little tunnels and stuff are all turns into the sculpture because the metal goes in there like a cast, and then the ant the ants. Oh, what a dick! Tunnel. Or whatever. <laughs> so I got this little wire here, <laughs> copper wire. I actually got it from electrical, twelve volt electrical. And then you can just wrap it around the line and then go through the eye. <laughs> That's hilarious. Go low through the eye and position it up on its nose. Can you see this? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're dead center. Go there. around, close the mouth. Got to close the mouth. The mouth opens. Bad news. That's it. Oh. And then we're still pulling from the top of the head there. The thing. Mouth closed, pull from the top of the head. Airing straight. Now I'm going to get them curled up here. Yo, you, you it's don't... all going to be for not if my herrings are all tangled up in the bag and they all get all bait broken. Just like that. Oh. I need to have them organized. Oh, I've hooked myself like six times on these treble hooks. And in there, real careful. Like, maybe if I put them in this way. What'd you do? What? When? What happened? Oh, you're tying that up. Good. Two. So that's that's why I'm doing it now because it takes a little while. Once I get rolling, it should go faster. Oh, you're down to three people. It's okay. Oh, I you know what I think it was? Like, right what? before you walked in, I was like, oh, Devin's walking in. And I was like, let me get these words out of the way. I was like, fuck, ass, shit. <laughs> Did you? And then they well, all, you had the most people for that. They love that. Yeah, there's like, <laughs> what, it got, it, oh, yeah, I got up to nine people when you walked in. It was like seven, <laughs> and then maybe we need to not watch our language. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, we, there's five in. What are you talking about? Oh, maybe I said now that we got the details. There's usually, there was five last time I did this. Who we got? We got Dan, good morning. I don't know who Crazy Cross is, but thanks for coming. And I don't know how to, any of this. Trapper's still there. Fishing bait going the extra mile. Yep. PETA. Yeah, PETA's not my friend. It's okay. Me and PETA. Make some bait. We need to do some, some bait making here for real. Let's do some cutting these things. Do some production here. Fishing bait for kings going the extra mile. Well, they're paying eight twenty-five here for king salmon, so they're like eighty bucks each. No, they're not. You gotta tell them they're paying like fifty. Is it still eight twenty-five? Yeah, they're. Yeah. Oh, oh wait, I don't know. Wait. He didn't look. He would have said something. Uh, I, I I didn't. I didn't look. Yeah, yeah, 825. Show them the ticket. So that's like our contract with the fish buyer. That's all before noon. Oh, wait, I shouldn't tell them that. <laughs> yeah, 
I didn't know what to do. I was like, well, Devin's not gonna be out there to save me if I nobody if this was weather there, gets huh? really bad. Yeah, no yeah, nobody was. I was surprised. The weather was supposed to be bad, that's why. Everybody went everybody went elsewhere and got skunked and they weren't in the harbor when you left. The boats weren't parked there? No. Are you sure? Uh I, I came in at um when you left was Jeff there. Oh yeah, Jeff was there. Who who else do you think was gonna go out? Brad went out. Oh, I, I didn't. I thought your boat was missing. See, you're just tripping. Oh, how many we got caught up here? Two, three, I got six. I need to do at least a dozen. I did a dozen on the way to the fishing ground, but I went all the way up to all the way up to the pinnacles. I drove all the way back down to the. Oh, you went you went to the pinnacles today? Yeah, no. Yesterday, I was like, I'm not gonna fish in that. And Greg Greg called me and he's like. Uh, I think it's okay. It's it's a little bit choppy, but and then yeah. yeah, and then so I'm like okay. So I pulled my I only put two wires down anyway. I pulled them up and I started driving. But it was terrible. It was like five foot chop. <laughs> it was. I had to drive all and the tide was rushing in. So I'm driving back and I get about three quarters of the way there and Greg calls me back and he goes, I got fuel fuel issues. I'm dead in the water. <laughs> dead in the water. It's so nice that his fuel filter got all jacked up, you know, from the rock on the boat. There. Filled is the slime. There's there's some kind of an algae that grows in the diesel fuel. Yeah. And then it, it creates like a, a fuel algae in the tanks. And then when it gets rough and the, everything's sloshing around, it gets into the filter and it clogs the filter and then your engine shuts down and if it's a big mess in the tank you're not getting it go it's now full of sludge it's just you know it goes what would you call it it's like particulates when it's real rough it starts sloshing around and then that's why i'm always telling killian to fill his fuel tank up so you got full tanks it's not so bad oh i, I put I, I i disinfected my tank like oh i, I put some additive in there how much uh, you put in what kind Good amount, and I don't remember what kind it was. It, it, you know, it has a little, the little part of the bottle that you squeeze it into, and it measures. How many hooks have you tied? You know, one, one. <laughs> <laughs> like these ones turned real blue from the Chrome Hunter, like that. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's sweet. Chrome Hunter Brian on Facebook. You can get it from Kurt Cummings. He sent me some. Liked it so much that I. Paid for a bunch and ordered 125 bucks worth. It, it, I'm it, almost it. done with it. I sold like four bags. Killian, you got a bag, didn't you? Yeah. Did you use it? Yeah. The, yeah. The hear the hearing. I um. I've I've had I've had them in it for like. They're still working pretty well. I think. Using the double hook ring. Yeah. These are smaller hearing. These are the ones they got. Did you see the new ones they got at the cannery? Uh-uh. They got a new um, batch in the cannery. They're all like bright and shiny. So these are green labels that have been salted for quite a while. They're really small. I got some really small hooks. Wilson's asleep. He looks like he's dead. <laughs> see his eyes twinkling. You know, this stuff burns my hands so much. Look at all this hair. Wilson, you don't fool me. You're not yeah, I always, I, always put, <laughs> I always put gloves on when I go. I went to get gloves. Hair. I just ordered gloves. I'm like, man, you spread it here. I'm going to do this. I'll do this later. So. Did you match the leader? I, I got kind of different leader lengths. I'm trying to decide, but. Um, the rigs I had out were catching, so we'll find one that, that's. I, I, this one I, I don't use. know. It's, that's a, that's about the same as what you had. Yeah. Here's what I was doing, like this, to the bend in my arm, bend in my arm, and. Oh, but cool. normally I go like this, and the, I can't see. It's a little bit longer than I can make it with my hand like this. Let's measure it for the YouTube people. Hold this. And to the uh, hook eye. You gotta back up. It's pretty long. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> it's 38 and a half inches from the from the knot to the to the 
and the loop to the spot loop. That's 38 and a half. Yeah, I, I usually do about like 28, 32 on my Gucci's. I, I, might, I might start doing them a little bit. Better. Grab my hair first. Stay there. That's a big hook. When I first started trolling, Killian, I threaded herring. I, when I first went out, I moved to Alaska, got the job at Icy Bay, and there was this captain up there, George Davis. Do you ever hear about him? Ever? Wait, he's infamous. He's not great of a salmon fisherman. And all of his gear, the, the salmon would all get away, and he was like screaming and yelling at the people on the boat. <laughs> Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. Like, like you know, when you have other don't let it get any slack. Don't let it get any yeah, slack. And yeah, then, if you don't <laughs> scream at them, they're not going to catch the fish. Uh, yeah, well, we lost like all the fish. So well, I ended you up didn't getting, scream loud enough. I ended up getting his job. And then when I had the boat, I looked it up. I looked it up on the internet. You know, how do you catch king salmon? Everything on the internet I saw said. You know, by the way, use the turn the hook. I can go too. We need to figure this out. Turn the hook eye flat. Um, what did they say? They said uh, cut plug herring, plug cut herring, whatever. Okay. So I started plug cutting the herring, and they don't get off those two hook rigs. Man, really good. Approach. Get that tucked in. One nice thing about when you salt them like this. You get everything set in there, and then when the fish gets wet, it only swells up and keeps everything tight. Oh. We're going to go out tomorrow. The weather's supposed to be decent. Let me know when you can read chat, Devin. I love you, bud. Jeepers, That's not, not in that says. way, but we'll always be there. Have a good night. Good night, Zed. Oh, dude, now we're down to two. There's eight now. There's even more. I cannot imagine. <laughs> Zed, you're the best. You are. I hope. I hope the ants. I hope you kill those fucking ants. He is. I, I, I hope. I hope. I hope you. I, I hope you can get like a like a giant magnifying glass and just fucking smoke them. He's got that thing, the smelting thing. He smelts them. He pours molten. Metal. Yeah, he it's said. He said, top. "Insert Charlie Brown teacher voice here." Even better, we got fireside. Chat I'm like that. Going. You know what? I'm like that character in Charlie Brown, the pig pen. That's me. That's why I had to get that robot vacuum. I could. My house is not presentable <laughs> without that vacuum. It's, it's yeah, I, I know how it is. I, I'm, a, I'm a nasty motherfucker. Too. It's bad. <laughs> I clean my boat like. Like never. Your, your boat's cleaner than mine. It I, is now. I learned okay, to push everything uh, down to a spot where it won't get into my bilge pump. You know, <laughs> or else I would sink. Because bilge pump doesn't like that. It's a nice big fat hair in here. You have a lot of mold growing in your boat too. It's growing on my boat. It's on the outside of my boat. Yeah. Need like a nail. <laughs> I don't know how it grows on the outside. Put this thing up on. So I bought this needle for eight dollars at the hardware store, which is a lot, I think. Considering like four bucks down south. And then <laughs> you gotta cut the needles. It's a, it's a regular upholstery needle with a closed eye. And you gotta open it up. And when I cut it, I thought I could cut it with my cable cutters. <laughs> I hit it with the cable cutter, and it uh, just shattered it. it. Didn't leave the hook at the top, so I had to like custom bend it over. Love torch and stuff. I managed it. You know what? That wire trick sucks compared to these little clips. But now we're talking. These things are nine ninety nine. The herring are a dollar each. So every time, every time a fish bites, it costs like a dollar, dollar and change. Bait. Do that. Straight on. Get out of my room. I'm baiting. Straight on. Bam. 
mine going up like this. And then one. Bam. That's the petite fastener. Number two, petite fastener. Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah, a petite fastener. You said now, now, we're, now they're comparing their boats. Yeah, because I, I'm, I'm the big boat man, Devin. I have like ten feet on Devin. How many feet do I have? No, I have eight feet on Devin. How big is your boat? Thirty-six, I think. Got four feet. Yeah, four feet. I have four <laughs> feet on Devin. How much water does it draw? Two feet. My boat draws five feet. So. Actually, it's, it's so longer, here. but it's not as deep. My boat has uh, extra 2,500 pounds of lead in the keel, too. Oh, wow. Or, or does the Sherry Lynn have lead? No. It's got something down there, but this has additional... Yeah, I was thinking. I was thinking the shit. How's how's the Sherry Lynn when it's all tanked down? You're selling a boat, you guys. The Sherry Lynn's. Oh, oh yeah, it's a great boat. Yeah, it's, it's got. Boat. Yeah, those fish holds on it are awesome. Um, what would you say about where we tank tank down? What? Oh yeah, what when, when it's tanked down? Is it pretty stable? Yeah, it's 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 pretty heavy when you fill those fill those fish holes. That's a lot of weight in it. Does it? Uh, Did I you mean, tie this one, Gillian? Look at it's coming apart. No, that was you. I don't know. It could have been me. It must have been me because it's eighty pound. It can, that's not gonna make the grade. Maybe if we could pull on it with a pair of pliers, which we don't have. It'll that's be fine. all right. Let's the the, the sand will pull on it. It'll tighten. Yeah, up. and then you lose your hundred dollar fish. I got bigger fish. How? What was your average today? The bigger ones, eight these. Oh, uh, let's see. Seven fish, fifty-eight pounds. So nine pounds. Nine, average, nine pound. pounds. I had some big deliveries, so. and I'm like, "How in the world did I give you that many fish?" And the number is so low. He did the got the calculator out, and my average was like eight, eight pounds, eight point five pounds. I I think I had close to a ten pound average uh, earlier last week. I had a ten pound average yesterday. Oh, okay. I had an eight pound average with the, the plastic squid hoochie. Bar. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm not an expert at threading. Done it a lot, but never gotten the system down. That was my favorite. I think this is my favorite. Got the tip. Les Hawkum was the one that told me about these. Keep fashion thing is just knock a bunch of them out of the table. That many herring. He said you come in straight from the top. Straight from here, you get the line going up. Close his mouth. Don't tow forever. Oh, oh, look. Oh, I thought Wilson's sitting on my foot. Oh, you're sitting on my little footsies now. Sitting on my little footsies, Wilson. Good boy down there. It's a herring extravaganza. You know, when I curl my leaders up, Kelly and I usually do three. Three twists every time. That way, when I'm taking them out, I'm like, it's going to be three twists. So you're not fumbling with it. Right. Well, if you don't know how many twists are in there, it's hard to tell. You know what I mean? You're like, how many times do I have to go back through the field? This stuff burns my hands. The salt is so evil. It's terrible. It's burning me up. How many did you tie up, Gil? Four. Can you do uh, some of those little tiny hooks, too? Yeah. What are the little tiny ones for? Those little tiny baits. I got three different size hooks. These are Mustad 5s, and then the other ones are VMC 5s, but they're, like, significantly larger. 
when I first started uh, trolling, I asked a, one of those big boats from Sitka that was in here, um, black cod fishing or something, this guy on the Falcon. I asked the guy on the Falcon, I think, I said, just starting out at this and I need to make some money because I'm broke. How do I catch the winter king salmon? And he told me, he said, get the red mirror flasher, use the anchovy head, five aught pebble hook, a 36 inch liter or something. That's how you catch the winter king salmon. So that's what I did. And I caught the winter king salmon for years like that with the big treble hook. Yeah, I, th I think. I know all my flashers are. I, I I usually try to do mirrored on all my flashers because I know I was like the mirror. You like the mirror flasher? Yeah. So, so I have like, a, I have like a dark red one. I have like a a blue mirror that's like all eating the shit, but the mirror still. In there. And then I have a, a green mirror with mirror kind of moon jelly on one side and crack. On moon the jelly side. crack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I don't even have to go to Anchorage for it. <laughs> My hands are burning up. Man, I need some gloves. What are you doing over there? You need some chicken? There's some chicken in the oven for you. Burned it? Burned it? No, it might not even be done yet. See if it's... It's not... This needs to be warm. Alien's going to vape. Wilson doesn't like vaping. Like a nice jumbo herring. That's a good one. It's going to be a king sample. That's what we hope. Oh, yeah. Make, tech. Make bait and then stay up too late. What time is it? It's 8. It's not too late. My bedtime's at 9.45. Make as many herring as we can before 9.45. So far, I got two, four, six of them. Yo, let's let's see if they all vote. Oh, oh yeah, put a poll up there. All right, all right. Who? No, you can make a poll. You can put a poll up on the. Got it. I guess you don't have to. You know, you know that's, 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 that's too much work. Yeah. A lot of times they're not even listening. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think they are either. Let's see. Let's see. Do you use herring or you use hoochies too? I think most of them don't. Okay, let's see. Now that okay, let's see. Do you uh let's see Shannon Cargo? Who's oh, Shannon? Yeah. He's Cargo? A, he's a troller from Washington. Oh. Fish is a uh, Nia Bay. Oh, okay. It's a native thing. They're fish. It's just like no hold barred. Let's go kill them. They got like, they keep 22 inch fish and fish 365 days a year. But they have a quota. So, like, it's a weekly quota or something. Nice. We keep 22 inch fish too. Yeah. But not legally. <laughs> Let's see. Watch. Watch. They're going to vote. They, they, want, they, want, they want to watch a real fish. Well, you can put a poll up. Days. Everybody's, now that they know that they can, that there's a poll they can vote on, though. Well, okay. You know what? You guys, you guys could get a question to vote on if you guys even say anything. Let's see. Seems like all oh, their summer you you would need two hundred then made up in a two hundred threaded herring. Seems like summertime rolls around. Oh well, we don't really get a fish in the summer. Yeah, we do. Oh, oh, in July. You don't. What are you doing? Oh, for kings? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, it's just open in July. Yeah. People make a ton of money on that. I, I think I think I'm the main gig. I, I, I think I might come here for that week in July. Well, it should be. Well, we got to see how many fish we even get this. I, I, I think that the winter can like, come out of the summer quota. 50 fish to catch. All right. But I don't know. They they set the quota by how many fish Sitka catches in the first two weeks. By the, what do you call it? The... um. Unit catch per effort, first two weeks in Sitka, that determines the um, population as far as the fish managers are concerned. This one's got the wire.
You're making a great uh, contribution to my YouTube channel, Jillian. I wonder if anybody realizes that you're the you're the boat out there. So yeah, hire, yeah. Is, is he is he always talking shit about me when when he sees my boat out there? Thing. He's like, that's the boat stealing all the fish. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're on the video. That's for sure. That's cool. Let's go. Wait, 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 wait! Don't no, pull. Pull hard. Pull now. Stretch it tight. Get some tension. You. Oh, I gotta go home in a little bit. Let's back home. Ready for the big hit tomorrow? Yeah. How many you gotta catch tomorrow? Uh, I don't know. I, I think I'm only gonna do a half day tomorrow. I guess. What? Yeah, no, I gotta I gotta get ready to go to Homer. Homer? What's in Homer? Oh, uh, Jonathan's boat's in Homer. Which one? Bad intentions. Oh yeah, got bad intentions. You know that boat? Yeah. This is new one. The bad intentions? Yeah. Yeah. The big steel power troller that he's converted to halibut, which catch him. I'm not sure how to do this metal paper clip thing. I think I just broke this one. Oh, I want to pull it on Wilson's ear. Dude, you're always torturing my dog. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Oh, is this one going to hurt? Is it going to hurt him? Well, it's got little metal spikes inside there. Should I still do it? He's pretty tough. All right. These limpers don't push down too hard. Oh, his ear get him? No, I didn't stay on. <laughs> Giving my dog an ear. Yeah. I, I, oh, I, I need I, you to tie up some of those baby hooks. Come on. How long? Dude, how hard do you tie up a pack of those hooks? Half an hour? Dude. Tie fast. Oh, it, it took me an hour to tie up those four. I'll, I'll pay you and um, you know, give you one of these. Uh, okay, okay, if I tie up two? Two? Yeah. How many did you already tie up? So look, I got to pay this guy. This stuff's I, all. I tied up four. Four? Yeah. Where'd they go? Where are they? I don't see four. Why don't you just like, like export this or what do they call it? Just send it over to China and they'll they'll do it for you. They probably would. We'll go, we'll go get ourselves a little factory. Oh man, we're gonna sh sharpen all the hooks. Oh, I'm losing the right. fish. I'm blaming it on the all hooks. Yeah. Yeah, he's blaming it on Killian. <laughs> he gotta blame Killian. something for it. <laughs> I did. I had all my hooks razor sharp last time. And the fish, I had one of them hooked on the outside of the face, just come up and looked at it. Nailed it. it you know, uh, the last time I went out fishing, there was a day. Wait, when, when, so that, I think it was. You haven't like been here day. for like a month. Feels like how long is no, it? No, I I only left for three days. You realize what happened while you were gone? Yeah. Three days. Yeah, I, I was gone from the sixth to the ninth. So I think the last. It was only three days. Yeah. Well, it felt like longer than that. So I think the last time I fished um, before it was on the fifth, and uh, I I snagged like two fish that day. I weren't biting until you left. No, it was the day that you left. Me, I never left. I live here. No, remember that. Oh, oh, you're, oh, you're talking about that. They're they're biting that day like crazy. What day? That, that day we were out there. Oh yeah, you got 15. I only got 10 that one time. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. I had more of it than they measured them. <laughs> <laughs> the cops are definitely watching my live stream. Up here now. It's up here. All my fish are 20 inches. Well, you know, you know, they that thing in the cannery is like a quarter inch off. It is a, probably a little bit long. I, one time I had my fish measured. No, you know what? I don't think it is because I'm, I measure them right to 28 and they're they're big enough. But I used to have one that was it was like a 16th of an inch longer than 28 inches. I had that were 28 inches. I knew they were 28 inches, and I, 
I went to my truck and got a tape measure and brought the tape measure back in there. Sure enough, the thing was <clears throat> off. Yeah, I, 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 I think it was. Nice I think it would be in there. Tape. Yeah, I think I want to bring tape measure in there. Maybe I shouldn't, because then I'm not, I'm not, I'm not guilty. It's not right. Are you still on probation? Maybe. <laughs> not so much. I don't. Guilty? What did, what did you say? I'm not guilty unless I don't know. I I, I think the way I worded that didn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not I'm not guilty unless I know I'm guilty. This is like a big round fat herring. Look how fat that thing is. These are the AC herrings. I guess the best way now that I've done a dozen of them is to hold it belly up, and like cradle it, and then. Just, I see, Devin. You're contributing to, to Canada's economy when you shop at AC. Is it? What has it? It's the Canadian? Yeah, Alaska really? Commercial Company. Yeah, it's, no. it's, it's a 150 something year old Canadian company. It used to be like a. Look, party. I'm buying my plastic squids from Canada and now the daggone herring, too. Goddamn Canadians. Oh, are there Canadians on there? Yeah, it's, everybody's on here. All these, <laughs> these are like regular people, but then it stays around and they, and they come on. Shannon! Do you always use herring? Yeah, I use hoochies and herring. Uh, seems like summer rolls around. You would need 200 of them. Yeah, that's the idea. We purchased the old night watch from Homer. Speaking of Homer. Yeah. Shannon. Shannon there's another salmon troller, that guy, um, Judah. We were all in there and just chilling, giving them a hard time today. I was giving them a hard time. So, do you, do you ever get girls on there, or is it always just kind of a sausage fest? No, there's there's chicks that go to his. Oh, but not not yours, no. though? No. <laughs> he had a baby on there today. He's got. It's definitely like that. I don't mind. I just figured. Well, Wilson, Wilson, you're not being a bunch of a fucking figured pussy. I'd go live. Right it breaks it. There's something going on. Wait. Stay on your bed. Wait, wait, wait. We're going to find out if it's right. I got some light line here. Yeah, I'm doing good with the plain glow hoochie, uh, Shannon. It's like from Pacific Net and Twine. It actually has a little bit of color to it. It looks kind of like it's like a cream, like a light white, like a kind of looks like that hooligan fish, you know. It's kind of got a little bronziness to it. It's got a little sparkle. It's whatever special recipe they got going on. We don't break teeth over here. We've got for homeowner's insurance for your busted teeth. <laughs> you don't need to tighten it like that. Is that the palm or not? Just tighten yeah. it by hand. Be good. Tighten it better that way. Here we go. See that? Do it. Let's watch Killian make it. Plus the tripod. How'd you figure out this tripod? It's pretty good. Jacked up. Let's get Kill. in there too. Oh, have you shown them what Wilson does when he has food? Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Can you give him just a little piece of the herring? No, no herring. It makes him puke every time. Oh, he's getting all excited. I'm sorry, Wilson. I couldn't get you. Thank you. 
Salt in the States. Salt all. And I've almost made up all the ones I got tied here. I got tied. I got. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fourteen of them done so far. Or fourteen tied up. Fourteen. And Wilson was a puppy, or like a little, yeah, he was a puppy. He was sniffing around some halibut jigs that I had all sharpened up. Sharpening them, that's why they were on the deck. And he got one. Bad. Went all the way in his lip and threaded around his lip like <laughs> he would thread a worm on a hook all the way. <laughs> and then he was whining and he was just over there hooked with the dang. Well, well, that's how you train them, because you know he's not going to do it again. Even the eight knot, Killian. What is this? This is not passing inspection. It, it does. Let me see what you're doing there. It, it does. What are you doing there? What's happening? I'm gonna watch you tie one. It's my arm. Right it never breaks. All right. All right. What? One more. Here's one, one that I tied. One more right hook. Here. See that? Well, Man, right. that hook is dull. Then where's one that you tied? And here's the Killian's knot. I don't like the same. It's good. Uh, let's right. compare the two. How good is it? <laughs> Just get your lighter and burn the tip. Burn? No. Oh, God. I didn't even split the tail on that. Burning it. Good, dude. You gotta do it home. It's a rest. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta ice, ice my ankle. Ice your ankle? What happened to your ankle? Snowboarding. Oh, where? You were in Cordova? Yeah. There's a ski slope there? Yeah. But I, I, I don't know. I told myself it wasn't. You know, I, I wasn't going to go because, you know, I had to start that job here. I have to go to Hummer here in a few days. A lot of my job. I have to do a snowboard. Because so, I haven't gone in like 10 years. And I kind of thought I was going to injure myself. And then it's like, I was like taking it easy. And I was like, oh, wow, this is just like riding a bike. And I was like, fuck this. I'm going to start, I'm going to start going through the trees. And then I like, yanked on my ankle pretty hard. And then slam down on and I just kept snowboarding I kind of slammed down hard hard on it near near the end of the day and but I've been icing it like a ton like like to like the point where it like hurts like where, where I don't have you know I just have to just the ziplock bag with the ice on it no like sheet or towel around it not sheet or towel around it it feels way better than it did a few days ago. Yeah. That's good. I wonder who the people are that'll tune into this. The grand people, you know? Where are they, where are they at? New York or Indiana or Indonesia. YouTube's gone for work. Do you, do you think that YouTube AI will like like start like uh do you think it'll like start blocking people if I start saying words like uh, oh, like all. like fuck Alabama hot pocket and no oh, people 
say all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna buy it. They'll demonetize it, but I'm not getting paid. I'm not worried about that. So. Yeah, yeah. Fuck your money, YouTube. <laughs> if we say that, that, that should work. Hopefully, that Wayne Ivers isn't on there. <laughs> the more you cuss, the more people come in here. Next time I go trolling, I would, I would try that out. I haven't fished a herring like that in 20 years. But in 20 years ago, you did fish a herring like this, huh? With the paper clip. I think this is a standard method. It's been 20 years. In the making. It's been around forever. Paper clip thing. Have you ever seen it before, Gillian? I'm not sure that your that your hook tying here is gonna. Work It'll be fine. Caught any big fish recently? <laughs> Yeah, yeah my, they never they never break. What's your biggest one this winter? Oh, uh, I don't, I I didn't have so, but I was I was I was only here part of the winter. Yeah, when did you start? Let's see what we're doing. Like, like February something like. This thing zoomed in. February what? Fifth, tenth. I think like the fifth. February fifth is when I started, and then and then I was fishing in November. Fishing in November. Yeah, yeah, that that knot's fine. Got it. Definitely not a pro at the threading here. Oh man. Dude. I know, I'm no good at it. I need a nail. That guy pressed me, he had a he had a nail. I'm trying to show the camera. I lost my I lost my treble. I don't have a hammer at the house. Can you believe that? You don't have a hammer in your house? I don't know. It's a boat. It's like the boat's a whole other house. Can you turn the oven off? Smell that chicken start start to heat up. Oh, no. no, it's terminal. Critical mass on the on the fried chicken. Yeah, we're gonna eat this halibut right here. Go ahead, eat the halibut. It's only been out there for like four days. What's all this fancy stuff? Oh, it's a fancy. Where, like, where, where are these supposed to be? What is it? That's ginger. That's from like I had a ginger and zucchini. How many days ago? Oh, it's good. You're just gonna eat the straight up ginger? I ate all the zucchini. Left the ginger. Why don't you get that salt and pour the salt into that bag of herring? My salt. See it on the. I need to stiffen up a little bit for two. Great from the top, it says. Man. Better work less. I tried these paper clip things out before, but I wasn't doing it right. Les told me to clip it on the front like that, and then the second one. Pretty. Ooh, it's even got a spot for it. Oh, no, I thought I seen it. Oh, no, I, I, no, I made a whole bunch of them wrong because I see that it's like fits in there perfectly. Oh, man. Look how nice that is. Oh, okay. When I first started. I went tuna fishing back east. It was like a quest I had to catch the big tuna. Go out with this guy, Brad, and threading the, or, or it is, it's like threading the, you don't, you don't use a needle, but you put like a big hook in through your mouth and then out the gill. And then you use wire to make it, it has to be like super straight. And when you get it right, the valley who swims like a little fish. It's like a little, it actually like goes through the water like a fish. When you get it wrong, the value who rolls. And for some reason, unlike salmon, the tuna do not like the rolling fish. So. Yeah, but are you, are you, am I am I going? I, I'm going home with that bag, right? Well, you're the, not taking that you, bag. The one you already made up. Did you want to take some of these baits? Dude, I, I tied up like five hooks your for you. Your ties suck, man. Why don't you make Why don't you make your own bait? You know, look, take the little fish, and then you'll know how to do it forever. I, I, so watch me do one, okay? Oh, I, I, I see how you do it. Now, now that you're gonna do it, okay? Keep it in mind. Hold it like this, up in the belly, and then you just get the needle, run it straight. Otherwise, the fish will be all twisted up. Then out the mouth. See that? Right out the mouth. It's out the mouth, right? 
And then you get your hook and buddy holds the hook for you. Gives you tension on the thing. It's extra long. We also come here, give and this, give this hook tension. tension. Do not tension in it. More tension. Make sure that the hook You're on like the, going towards me. Well, the needle's jamming up in there. It's trying to rip everything apart. <laughs> cool. All right. And then you just slide it, let go. Slide it on there. And then the hook's got a way that it'll go in, you know, this part so it'll sit flat. And then don't let the tag of the leader tear it all up. Then you just notch it, just lay it, stick it right in that little spot. Right there. The idea is you want it to be, it needs to, it needs to catch that thick skin on the back right there. So that when you're towing it, the treble hook doesn't pull up into the fish because then the fish will ball up like this and it's all foo bar. But if you tuck it in there just like that, then you salt the heck out of your bait so it really stiffens it up, then you might be able to pull it around for like an hour if you're not going too fast. Like three knots. Don't go three and a half knots. And then when you put this thing on, you go straight, get the line up there. Point it up, straight into it, squeeze it on. It's got a little tooth. It's got a little tooth like a like a baby chick has that little egg breaking thing on their beak. This one's got a little, see the little tooth? See the little hole right there? Put the tooth right into that hole. Got your second one locked in. And it's like the Terminator now. This is going to get <laughs> the salmon things that can just swim around, mi migrate up in here from Washington State where all those killer whales are starving and not get caught. Well, it's wrong. Yeah, we're going to catch whales. every one of them. <laughs> right? It, fuck the whales. Can I say that on you? You just did. I, I mean, I, I personally think that a killer whale is a killer whale. There's tons of killer whales yeah, up here. Fuck them. Just there was them. like 50 whales up here the other day. Shoot them, then we won't have to worry about the whole king salmon problem. No, we don't need to shoot the whales. But my well, point we'll is, we'll have more salmon if we shoot the whales. Nobody's shooting the whales. Oh yeah, the Japanese are shooting the whales. Oh yeah, I heard that they but were. I don't think they. I don't think they eat killer whales though. I bet they would eat a killer whale. Yeah, they, they, they <laughs> eat anything <laughs> in the ocean. <laughs> There's that one like uh, Scandinavian country that's got like an island. They eat all the whales that come up there. Yeah, on YouTube too. Are you ready? You're gonna make one. Yeah. So I just made up a whole bunch. Let's observe Killian. I'll, I'll tie one that I then I gotta go night night. Gotta go let's go night night. Yeah, now we're down to four. They didn't like the whale talk. Oh fucking hippies. Oh <laughs> shit, did I say that too? Yes, they did. You gotta I, I forgot people are like all woke now. There's only one person in chat, like Shannon. Everybody else took off. But we've been going for an hour and 38. My buddy, Stuart from Scotland, he keeps up a pretty good show. Guys wide, talks to everybody in chat. It's fun. Wait, I'm going through the belly, right? Right, right, right straight down the middle of the fish. Yeah. By right, the spine? Just track it up straight for the, straight for the mouth there. Hold it like I showed you, belly up. This so you can see the so you don't want that twist in there. Pull the needle back out, get it, hold the fish straight, and then run the needle straight through there. Okay. Helps sometimes if you open the mouth too. It's going right through the mouth. Good. Got it. Oh yeah, well it went through the mouth right there. I want it going right through the hole in the mouth. When you tie the loop on these leaders, make it a little bit smaller. Yeah, that was I I did it small. So now find something to put tension on it with. All right, Put Devin. To a nail. Devin. All right. Whatever. And now hold the hold the tip of the needle. Run the fish on the way further. Don't break his mouth. Oh. You'll be all right. There you go. Yep. Sometimes you know, see how the, you want this to be to go up that channel. There you go. Hold tight. Yep. Now it helps if you're wait, wait, not as gnaw goofy like that. Good. You got him on there. Give me the needle back. Here. Watch this. See that, Dan? Are, are you learning anything right now? I am. <laughs> yeah, you're not even going to use that hoochie. It's just like that other, what was that, your Katy Perry hoochie? You've never even put that one out, did no. you? 
I only have one piece of bait out right now. Oh, there we go. See that? Tuck it in. Tuck, tuck this top prong right into the... Yeah, they're all sucked in there. Oh, see that? No, no, no. You want this to be... Up. It would to be through there, right? You want there. this to be above the... There you go. Oh. So, no, no, no. You need to tuck it in. So, need a little bit more room down here. There you go. Adjust it. spot there we go got it now you got to put the clips in the clips right there straight, straight in the front right there so the leader pulls from the top up and then one more but don't mess with it too much put this one see it's got the little tooth there Fit yeah. that little tooth into the hole on the other one. The hole, get it stuck in. Reinforce the whole deal. Bam. All right. I'm gonna roll, catch, roll your leader up. I'm only going to get like one fish on this one. I hope so. Maybe you get all a right. 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 Maybe I, it'll just twist right. up on the hook. I owe you a hundred bucks, but if, but if I lose the fish <laughs> on here, you owe me a hundred bucks. No. Yeah, yeah. We have a deal. <laughs> no, I, I probably would have gotten a fish on it. You know, I would have had to give you a hundred bucks. All right. Oh, you're getting me out of the picture. But it, Trapper Scotty said, "The art of bait ain't got ain't got everyone." What does he say? The art of bait ain't got everyone, Killian. <laughs> And it's the next time I go trolling, we'll have to try it. Trapper Scotty, he's hanging out. He's patient, waiting for something to happen. I bet they were pretty excited when you come up that hill in your little car and and all the snow was flying. Maybe oh, was yeah, did they see it? Yeah, yeah, that car, that car, that car, that car goes what wherever I tell that this? fucking car to go. That's what that car does. It, it, but I don't know if you're going to make it back out of here. That's going to be the key. So now... Killian's it's not. Fine. It's just terrible. It it's it it'll I mean hold. it does look strong. It'll hold. I gave it a little bit I gave it a little bit ex like a little bit of a tag on it. It'll it'll hold. All right, all right. So this is the tiny one. I'll try it. I mean it looks it looks it looks it looks lopsided, but it looks strong. I kinda did that to you and just lose a couple of You did not. Or in my my uh, well I guess I don't have a hole, but in my cooler. <laughs> no, that, 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 no, it, it, yeah, it's been it's it's the polymer knot. I think uh, maybe so you go through, double it up, go through, and then dude, this hair needles is trying to take this fish off. It's so small. Yeah. Oh, this. So I tried these little four hooks before. These are little four out BMC hooks for the little herring. Oh, can you get some water for Wilson? I said for water over there. <laughs> we can show them what Wilson does when he wants water. <laughs> oh, your big herring knot is trying to break my hand. <laughs> wait, Wilson, you, wait, when he grabs the bowl and starts carrying it around. All right, I'll get you some water. Acts like it doesn't want him. To stay just like that. Start the tucking it in. Let's go straight to the. Uh, all right, here flip or flip it so Wilson can see. They can see Wilson drink the water. Hold on, I'm trying to I'm trying to do something. I'm not good at. All right, he doesn't get in the water. <laughs> here we go. Open the phone. Oh, the phone you want the break. water? You want the water, Wilson? Oh, he doesn't do it like with with the food. He's he's not that excited about it. Give him some food. Oh, like in a bowl? Like he's, in a regular bowl? No, it's too much for him. He's already eaten. Oh. How did my tripod get all super splayed out before? 
It wasn't like this before. Got to say. All right. Yeah, I'm not gonna, gonna use this. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go next. I'm gonna drink some more. What is this? Is this coffee right here? Yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna make up one, two, three, four, one, four, five, six more. Tie some up. It's eight. Hey, can you change my clock? That'd be awesome. Your, your clock? Yeah. Yeah, it's like eight thirty. I'm supposed to be in bed. Yeah, it's 8.30. It says that it's 7.30, though. What? No time. Can you, you do one other thing? No, you one, get that one salt? thing. Bring one, the salt. One thing. One thing. Oh. Salt's more important. I, I don't see yourself. It's right in front of you. Tip the boy. Right there. It's blue. This yeah, one? yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it fully open? Open that thing up. Let him have it. Not all. I need some salt to eat, too. Like, yeah, keep going. Get it on those ones at the bottom. Yeah, good. That, that should be good. Save me. All right, that's enough. I need some salt in the house. Hey, is there some chrome chrome hunter brine down there? I think I saw some in the cabinet right here. Over here. Oh, boy. Let's put the chrome hunter right. on the other side. All right. I'll look at your clock. I might Can you open it in there? This is, or this is like thing number like general. I some being very these things, man. All the time I spend. Oh, oh shit. yeah, that was a lot. Oof. All the time, and then take them out there. You can't get them out of the bag. Or look at that. Hopefully that'll earn us some money. We'll go out there and I'll just get a link out on every hook every time. I get like one percent or something. I hook it up. What? I gave you a herring. <laughs> Uh, how do those guys do it? You know, PewDiePie, he's got like 17,000 17, people in his live chat. Yeah. I, don't know. I think people like it if you're partying, you know, or like drinking a bunch yeah. of alcohol, because then they feel better about partying. And well, let's, a bunch go, of let's go get some drugs. I'll go to the liquor store. <laughs> I don't need drugs, though. Oh, oh. Well, <laughs> I guess you, you're just going to have. It's pretty lame. This house is Four viewers. <laughs> That's how it is. Maybe we could snort a little bit of that. Uh, that snort some hunter. of the Chrome Hunter. Yeah, dude, I'll chrome. give you five bucks if you snort a line of Chrome Hunter. What do you guys think? <laughs> do it, dude. Five bucks. I don't know. I don't know. What about? I, I'll probably lose my affiliation with the Chrome Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> dude, well, I was thinking about, about doing an ad. Just like, just like, just like, just like get, a little line. Like wait, I'll, I'll do get, like, just like a little. Oh, wait, line. no, like, YouTube really doesn't like this. Don't do it. Oh. We were just joking, you guys. Yeah, we were just joking. <laughs> I heard they can get upset about that, even though it's a joke. Like the one time I had the fighting roosters on there, they went nuts. They took that thing down so fast. <laughs> the rooster fight, cock fighting, not okay. In the Philippines, everybody's doing it. Everyone in the Philippines has their own fighting rooster. They all have a rooster, and it lives in their front yard out in the 120 degree heat and then they got like a little house for it with a little roof and then it's got a string around its leg yeah like every 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 man in the philippines you know has that is and they fight them because youtube is owned by these woke ass motherfuckers we, we could say that about them right <laughs> that that don't like looking at cock fighting videos i mean i don't like looking at videos of cocks either but uh so the unless there's a girl in it but um killian what <sighs> my goodness <laughs> all right all right guys I, I, yeah it sounds like i'm getting kicked off the video you're not kicked off i know i'm gonna go home it's uh oh you changed the clock that's good so it's eight it's eight thirty seven ish that's good so my bedtime's nine forty five i'm right on time with these herring finish threading the herring and it'll be bedtime and then i wake up magically i'll be just ready to fish. I think daylight's at time really goes fast when you're doing all this stuff. Daylight's at like uh, 7:45 because of the daylight savings. I really don't know. 7:45, 8:45. Mm. Did you get everything you need? Because I've got the hooks, I've got the beads, I've got the got lots of hoochies here. I've got what? What do you need? You got everything? Yeah. Yeah. Be at it tomorrow. Jeff will be out there trying to catch every every fish in the ocean. 
and Brad will be out, I guess, because Brad was out today. No go crazy. It looked, hey, I went up to the Pinnacles, and it looked like there was, it looked like, you know, I, I didn't get anything on the, hey, can you pass through that line? I didn't get anything on my first pass, but, you know, I was just shallow, and I was only on the south edge of it or whatever. You know, I, when I was going over the finger, I was seeing a lot of fish. I fished the finger because it was so rough that I couldn't get out out on the bar, and it was lame. There was lots of feed, birds diving everywhere, feed all over the place, zero oh. fish. They're all out in the ocean waiting for that stuff to go out there, you know. That's yeah. how it usually is. Yeah, the, the bar is good. It's Sometimes like, Leo fishes up there, and then he'll start talking about how he doesn't have money to pay for his fuel. Yeah, well, exactly. Yes. Right. You get it. <laughs> for, like... Three hours, three hours a month. <laughs> oh, why don't you take this hoochie with you? I don't need that thing. No, no just try that hoochie. Try it. Yeah. What's it called? Oh. Name it. Rainbow Warrior. No, don't, 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 don't give it a gay name. Passion Fruit. That, that sounds <laughs> it's gay. Okay. The Neon Slayer. Okay. Just. Why don't you, passion Tron, room, Tron, why don't you just call it Tronathon? It's, it's called the the <laughs> the little sparkly queer. Let's just call My it. Little Pony. Yeah, My Little Pony. There we go. <laughs> hey, <we're in. laughs> hey, did I ever show you how to bait one of these things? Watch this, you guys. You guys want to learn how to bait a hoochie? Jo Jonah, you need to know this. We can put a timestamp on it for Jonah. So you fillet the herring. I did a terrible job of filleting the herring. So you fillet the other side of the herring. Maybe you could just fillet it like a fish. I, I, there you go. I, I just totally mastered There you go. Well, we want to split the fillet. So you got two fillets. Yeah, you got to cook that up. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. And then you got two parts like this. And then you get a piece of wire. Because look, I just happen to have wire laying around here. Oh, it just happened to have it wire is, laying it is. And then you put it around the top of the swivel. This is a Bob Ross video. Well, <laughs> it's. We did the threaded herring. Now we're going to bait the hoochie. You don't want your strips to be too long or else the salmon will just bite the strip. But these look pretty good. So then you just, I haven't done one in a while. Let's see. You should do it like this, like this. Once you've done a few of them, you get used to it. You just fold this on there. Hold still. Wrap that thing around. Yeah, I, I like, I like put pieces of hair on my hoochies. Like that? So then you got it. Can they see it? Yeah, it looks good. Then it goes out with the skirt. Yeah. Now it's just in there, a little bit of bait. Yeah. Take it back. You know what? You're not going to use that. You, oh, you, you could have it a little bit longer, too. Give me one later. Now yeah, you can try try the bait. You don't ever use the hoochie. Yeah, oh, no, I like this. But try it out try the baited hoochie okay yeah, and then yeah, did I'll you see it. just cut this get the small herring with all the salt do you have herring you don't have any yeah, herring, I do have you? herring like five or six herring yeah i, I only I only use why like i only i only put one out why don't you take some herring I, wait i don't need any herring. i'm only fishing tomorrow for half the day what I, I, what yeah I, i'm only fishing tomorrow for like half the day or i don't know i'm just see how it goes because i have to leave well, on, you should still have some herring on tuesday and then you're not going to yeah, come yeah. back you have no, some? I'm coming back when, when we get a weather window. I'll be back. What do you mean? When? Oh, to cut to bring the, the halibut boat back? Yeah. Yeah, so we might fish out Seward for a little bit. Where's that? Where's Seward? Uh, I guess it's kind of by home around the peninsula. Close. Yeah, close to it. Yeah, it's hurt. It's so salt. It's, it's like up. north of it. Homer. Homer's right there on the end. So yeah, I think it's like north. Okay, I'll, I'll let you go without the hearing. Maybe I'll drop some off on your boat tomorrow morning because oh, I, I, I don't need it. I still have like five or six herring. Five or six herring? I'm taking out like three packs with me. Three, thirty. Yeah, yeah I, I know, but they're they're biting. Um, they're they're I I, I put out here too, but they're biting they're biting my hoochies though. Yeah, I really got them on the hoochies the one day, and I was getting them on this one green one. Crazy. It's green. It's a classic. Green and you haven't seen it. I just got them from Canada. Man, they were killing that thing on the red flasher. And then the glow, it's not, but I have two different kinds of glow ones. They only want one of them. 
I noticed the color of the flasher doesn't really matter. Like, as long as it has a mirror, I don't know, for me, I just make sure it has a mirror. Really? I like the red ones. I got some blue ones now. Blue, blue mirrors, brand new from Oki. Because my hot spots, all the all the tape was pulling off my hot spots. So I got yeah. The, yeah, it's, yeah, it seems started like using my, the Oki's. My blue mirror does really well, but I don't know if it's just the Uche I have on it. Or... Blue mirror. Where'd you get that from? Breaker? Yeah, yeah. He, he said he got it from you. Probably. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> like it's like all beat up. It's like. I saw. I like think a, I saw it actually on your boat. Oh, I need to retie it. I need to retie it. Yeah, I need to retie that. Dude, I got some. I got some eighty pound. Um, got some eighty pound really thin leader and i put it on my i tied some herring rigs with it and it just got snapped by something but but then i put it on spoon leaders and the spoon leader has lasted for all month i've been caught like fish after fish after <laughs> fish, big fish on it and then i'm like man i like it because it's really thin you know but the uh, uh yeah maybe i'll try some of that green line green line What's yeah, I think I, it's like Andy. My hands are killing me. I'm gonna like, wash my hands, then tie the leader, and then finish this job. It like burns. Yeah, okay. it's like, I'm seeing... it's the soft burning. It gets stronger. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll, see, I'll see you in the morning. All right, what, what time? Now. When I get up, like normal, same time as normal, a little bit earlier because my alarm is off an hour earlier. Yeah, it gets brighter a little bit earlier. Yeah, that'll be good. I'll text you in the morning. I'll text you in the morning. Hey, you need help getting out of here? You need help getting the car out of here? Are you sure about that? Are you going to pull back into that turnaround? Hold on, you guys. Got to make sure Killian doesn't crash on his way out. Very snowy. Cool. I think Killian's gonna make it. It's like it's like six inches of new snow out there. He's got that little go kart. Well, so we need to tie up a couple more hooks. How many more hooks? Three, three more hooks. That's it. Let's tie up this. All the trebles. I got this old rusty one out of storage. Watch out, Wilson. Watch out. No, no hooks for you. Oh boy. Just a couple more of us and we'll be all ready. We've got a whole bag of tricks of those fish. The palm or not. So you go double it up through the eye of the hook. Tie an overhand knot. Back through the loop. Just drop the hook through there. Tighten it up. It'll make like a figure eight. Oh, I didn't see that. It's okay because I'm going to do another one. 
I don't know what Killian was doing, grabbing the thing with his teeth and everything. I, I just tightened up my hand like that. It's fine. And I'm going to length like this for the threaded herring. 38 and a half inches, we said. There's some more hooks on the floor. Shannon Trapper Scotty. I wonder where Trapper Scotty is. Did they even trap in Southeast anymore? Did they? I guess they did at one point. It's ready. I found two of them on the floor. I'm going to have a lot of baits tomorrow. I think what I should do is probably like fish. Just a couple early in the morning. Then when it slows down, put them out. Put out the old threaded herring. The bite slows down. A lot of times I feel like the fish are in there. Just watching us go back and forth, but they're in a negative mood. They won't bite. Bite this. On the top end, I just go around three times. Man, I got tons of hooks. Way more hooks than I want to deal with. Who was that? Shannon was saying, oh, you'd have to tie up 200. Well, tie up about 25 or 30, I guess. Maybe more. What do I got here? It's been pretty heavy fishing. I usually wear gloves when the coho fishing gets heavy, but. Never had to worry about king salmon fishing getting heavy, and so many of them running around out there, they done tore my hands up. Got all kinds of fish bites and stuff on my hands. Actually got some like PS4 and type stuff to put on my hands. Look, well, this part, especially with the leader, cutting cutting me with the leader, tore me up. Stupid fish. I wonder if Pete Grimm come through, or Pete, it's probably too late for Pete to still be awake. He said he was going to watch. Good old Pete in Colorado. Bet Wayne Ivers tuned in earlier while Killian was all cussing up a storm and everything else. How many herring do I got here? Man, how many herring do I got last? Oh, I got plenty of herring. I got just the right amount of herring. I tried these little VMC hooks once. And they lost a lot of fish for them. But maybe now that the fish are on the attack, they'll just swallow them. Won't lose nothing. These little tiny ones would be better with my 80 pound test. But all I got at the house is 100. We've got 100 Grand Slam mono, 100, 100 pound test. Making the biggest mess. We got little tag ends, a leader everywhere. Way down. Work, work, work. I mean, just casually making gear here. Not hard work, really. Hate to say work on Sunday. Don't fish on Sunday. Doing this. It's nice to make those. Not reading chat because I'm busy. Live in Alaska. Fishing here. Nobody's chatting anyway. I trap near Fairbanks and fish out of Sitka. Oh, Trapper Scotty, the mighty Sitka fisherman. 
<laughs> you probably know all about this. I've had some some fishermen from Sitka. There was a deckhand when I was in uh, Icy Bay. There was a there was a deckhand on one of the Hallett boats who said that he he fished on a big Sitka boat, and then I said, "Hey, hey, how did it, how did you catch all this king salmon in the ocean in Sitka? How do they do it?" And he he showed me a trick. He, he said, "You use a paper clip." Not this paper clip, but a regular paper clip, and you put it on their put it on their face of the herring, and I'm like, "What are you talking about?" So I actually went and got a paper clip and a herring, and he showed me. <laughs> and it is a neat trick, but the stores here are all sold out of the right size paper clip to do it with. It's all kinds of ways. Well, I heard Sitka, the weather was just absolutely atrocious this week. It's going to get nice everywhere, I'm sure. Well, we'll all catch them. I wonder if Trapper Scotty has found the thriving outdoors uh, with Judah. Because he's, he's live streaming trolling right now. Uh, pretty cool. It's pretty cool he got into him one day. And then otherwise, he's just... Man, there's a lot of rockfish down there. He's catching the heck out of the rockfish. Doesn't seem to be a whole bunch of salmon. Around there. I know a highliner boat that the guy lives in um, Ketchikan where Judah's fishing. And he said that places you can go and catch a lot of fish. I'm going to... So we're going to put... We're going to need it. Cause there's, there's, a, there's a good amount of fish out there. It's not overkill. The last push, the last final, final week of King Salmon. Finish strong here. I right, finish strong. We'll get whatever we're getting. Let's post it up here. Wilson, are you holding down the fort? Fishing guide, I know. We're tying gear. And then you cut the wrong end of the cut the cut the wrong end. He always says you gotta cut the short end. Cut the short end off there. Tying the knot. That's John Hagen. Fly fishing guide from Icy Bay. You know, I worked at Icy Bay Lodge for like, I don't know how many years. When I first came up, I was looking for a job in Alaska, living in Virginia, working on hardwood floors. But I wanted to, I wanted to be a fisherman up here, and I was ready to take a job doing any kind of fishing. Uh, I put my name in the uh, recruiters thing for the. You know anything big boat or processor or whatever and my family found out i was looking for a job and my cousin was working at the icy bay lodge doing the cinematography work for the discovery channel when they were filming the alaska experiment and and so he told the manager who was having trouble keeping staff at the remote flyout place he said hey i think my cousin would be able to work up here so they hired me this guy, George Davis, hired me to come work at Icy Bay Lodge. And I said, okay, I'll come work, uh, but I don't want to take a pay cut. So I think I was making like $500 or $700 a week. This was 15 years ago. And George said, sure, <laughs> no problem. Uh, so I paid my way, got up here, and then I got to Yakutat, and I didn't have, I didn't have very much money at all. I was at the airport in Yakutat, like no money. I mean, I, I might add 300 bucks or something. And then there was bad weather, and George was at the flyout lodge with his little 182 or whatever plane it was, and he couldn't get me. And I'm like stuck at Yakutat Lodge with no money. And I, I told the people at the lodge what the deal was, and I guess they had mercy on me. 
the old owners, Ken and whoever the lady was. And I don't know, they let me stay for cheap or, or something. But I couldn't believe that he couldn't come get me. But it was, it was bad weather. You know, I'd be sitting at the bar and the the, the flags just <laughs> flapping out there. And it finally calmed down for long enough for George to fly in from Icy Bay, which is like 65 miles away from Yakutat. And he flew in to get me. And I went out on the, <laughs> I went out on the airstrip, the tarmac or whatever, to look at this little plane. And George, by the way, he's got this big beard and all these guns hanging off of him. And then he probably came in and had some drinks. Then I, I go out and I'm looking at the plane and the, the plane has got duct tape. There's duct tape on the plane and there's cracks in the, the whatever, the struts for the wing and what. And I'm like, hey, you know, this thing's cracked. And he goes, yeah, yeah, it's not. It's not structural or whatever. I'm just like, okay. So I get in the plane with this guy. Like I said, I'm pretty sure that we had some drinks at the bar. And then we fly over Yakutat Bay, and it's still storming. And this is in May. And um, I just remember flying over Yakutat Bay with this guy that I didn't know in this plane with the duct tape and the cracked struts. And then the snow started coming, and you couldn't see anything. It was just snow and there's like very limited equipment in this plane and i'm like praying to god that we don't crash and we didn't <laughs> so anyway that's how i started my career here at, at alaska i never left i never left yakutat i was at icy bay lodge for like 10 years i still go up there story i'm originally from virginia from reston virginia and my family's got an estate farm type deal in central virginia There's ponds and stuff. I, where I grew up, there's a lake. So I fished for bass and crappie pretty much every day. And then at the farm, there's three ponds, a river nearby. So I fished the ponds and stuff. And they had like an urban trout stocking program near where I lived in the suburbs. So I fished trout a lot. And I kind of got to figure out that like with the trout, after some years doing it, I I, I was... I was able to catch the trout, like, a lot of them. I kind of realized that, you know, maybe I could do fishing for a living, you know. So that was my aspiration, do it for a living. And, you know, I went from catching the trout in the urban, urban stock trout program to, and, you know, I went to the mountains, and I fly fish, and I tied flies, and, I lived in Oregon for a while. My aunt and uncle would still live in Oregon and they took me in and that's where I, I, I tried to catch the salmon in the rivers in Oregon, but I could never catch them. I could see them. They'd be jumping all around. It drove me crazy, but I couldn't catch them. Uh, but the, one, one year I went out there and there was a lot of coho salmon on the ocean and we just waited until the so the newspaper said that the coho salmon were biting and then we would go to um coos bay or newport bay or whatever in oregon like like 30 years ago and i just remember going out and the waves were like huge wave you know the boat the charter boat in front of us would disappear and then it was like massive waves and then so many fish they'd set the gear they they put a little they'd put a um They'd take a little fillet of a, a fish like this big. They would hook that on the on the hook with the plastic hoochie squid. And then they had like a dipsy diver or something. And they let it behind the boat and the big waves would come up. And I mean, as soon as it would go out, the rod would be going and we got the salmon. And that was the first, that was the way I caught my first salmon. And it was in the ocean. And then I was kind of hooked on that deal. You know? That's the ultimate trout, basically. Let's see, what do I got to do? I tied up all the hooks. Every one of them has got a leader. So I need to split some more tails here. Two, how many hooks do we got? One, one, one little tiny one. One little tiny one. Two little tiny ones. Two little fish. One, two, three. That's a little tiny one too. 
Oh, there's one more hook. Let me get them all. Wait. Yeah, so George Davis, when I worked up there, when I first got to Icy Bay Lodge, it was like, there was icebergs on the beach. I couldn't believe that I, I was at this place with ice icebergs on the beach. And I'm like, this is crazy. And George told me to go outside and pick up all the all the brass, all the bullet casings that were in the yard and burn the trash. So I'm going around picking up all these bullet casings. And there was like so many bullet casings in the yard. And then I started burning trash and I'm over there burning the trash and the icebergs are there and there's brown bears walking around. And I could not believe that like, that was my job. But I, I was gone from working in the hardwood floors in the big city with cars and traffic and everything. And then my job was gonna be to burn trash at Icy Bay Lodge. <laughs> it was pretty cool. Uh, but there's like a lot of drama with this guy, George, and he ended up leaving the lodge and when, when he was going to leave, the one of the owners asked if I would like to run the boat. Like there was a charter boat there. If I, if I, he said if I, he would pay to get me to get my license, all that. So I did that. Got the, got the license. Uh, I got the license to run the charter boat, the six pack uh, license. And then, I ran the boat, like for years I ran the boat. And the lodge would give me a, uh, well, I worked at the lodge in the summer and then I would come back to, I would come back to Virginia in the, in the winter and I would do hardwood floors. They're the ones who gave me the leave of absence. There was no work in Alaska in the winter for me. So I did that for years. And then at some point there was like a caretaker at the lodge. At some point he quit or got fired or something. So I, I had this crazy idea that I was going to trap, that I was going to live at Icy Bay, which is a totally isolated place with no people. There's no people there at all. That I was going to live there in the wintertime and trap. And then I was going to make money or something. And that was the year I did it. And that was the year that the, the, the prices, fur prices, was completely tanked. It went from $230 a Martin to like 50 bucks or something. And moreover, I couldn't catch them, man. I, I thought it was going to be easy that they were just going to be jumping into the trap and all this. I didn't have any idea what I was doing, even though I had trapped a little bit in Virginia, but I didn't have very much luck at all. I caught a wolf. Pretty much more, right away, I caught a wolf in a snare, and then I was getting a few Martin in boxes, but uh, I wasn't putting them in the right places, and I really didn't know what I was doing. And I didn't have that much traps, and it was just kind of a trip, just a survival thing to be up there with nobody around. So I think the first year there was a mail plane that would come like once a month and drop stuff off, uh, and then I had a generator with a little bit of fuel and all that. That's when I got the dog. So it wasn't like that. The second year I got the dog. So it wasn't that long ago. That's Wilson's 10. So about 10 years ago, I was doing this. I stayed there 365 days a year, pretty much. And I trapped and didn't catch very much. But I did. I caught some animals and it got more. I caught more animals the second year. And the third year, I caught the most animals. And I, I even caught a wolverine on the third year, which was my nemesis. But uh, I rinsed my hands because they're burning. When I caught the Wolverine, I'm like, that's it. I got the, I got him. It's over. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm going to get the heck out of here. So I did. I got the heck out of there after I got the Wolverine. Uh, I ended up giving the Wolverine away. I gave it to the, my boss up there. I figured I could get another one. Actually, I didn't get another one. I tried trapping in Yakutat. Well, let's see. So how did I end up? not being there year round i think i bought a boat here i know i bought a boat but i think this is what caused me to leave the year-round thing at icy bay was i got a boat 
bought my my old boat, the Sherry Lynn, for thirty eight thousand bucks, and lived on the boat here. I got a hand troll permit. I lived in Yakutat on the boat in the winter time. Patrolled king sam instead of living in the middle of the woods with nothing which was way better it's like the big city in yak compared to icy bay so sometimes i guess i guess at that point in the summers i was still working for the lodge i don't know i've worked for him on and off for a long long time uh, but it, it it definitely turned out that like commercial fishing you know, it's your own business. The money was like hand, hand, hand and fished, or what, how do you say it? Hand over fist. It's like just way better than the money at the lodge. So I had a hard time focusing on being a charter captain up there while the commercial fishing was available. And pretty much got out of it, although I have worked there not too long ago. running the charter for the halibut fishing. Everybody wants to catch the halibut. Back in the day, there was amazing halibut fishing. When I first went up there, first experienced halibut fishing, I used to be so into those fish. I'm like, man, these halibut are just so cool. And after I did it for some year, they're not that cool anymore. I mean, I guess they are cool, but it's just such a hassle to deal with. Always thrashing around and shoot them, hard to shoot, or just everything about it is kind of a pain in the butt. So that's not the best attitude for a charter captain. I think I got out of it. But I, I have the, you know, I have the credentials, or at least the, yeah, I got the captain's credentials. I, I let them expire, but you know, get them back. It's gotta go. Take the test again. And that's it. So I went up to Icy Bay actually last year. I got a bear tag, and the guy said I could shoot my bear up there. So I went up looking for my bear. I saw it, but it was kind of just not. It was too late in the trip to. Shoot the bear. the The bush pilot doesn't want to carry the bear. It was some, some situation. Not good to do. Not good to pull the trigger. So I did. So I was kind of planning on going back to Icy Bay. Bought a little bit of halibut quota this year. I was going to go back up there because I got standing permission to go hunt there. I was going to go back and. Is gonna shoot the bear. There's so many bears there. Go up with my boat, take a bunch of salt, shoot the bear, you know, load down with ice, shoot the bear. I've got 950 pounds of halibut. I was thinking about getting a little bit more since the fishing's been so good. But get the bear first, you know, pick out a nice big one with a nice coat. I could even get a black and a brown bear. There's tons of bears up there. And then after I got the bear all squared away, go get my halibut because there's a good number around up there yeah but i don't know if i'm gonna do that it's 65 miles from town here gotta run to get to icy bay and there's no protection to go hide from the weather or anything and these little paper clips are paying the butt i have to clean up after myself when this is done but that was kind of the tentative plan was to go to Icy Bay to get the halibut, but I can probably just get the halibut right here. Yakutat Bay. And then in Yakutat, we, we have a spring fishery. that opens May 1st, but we're only allowed to fish one day a week and then only for a thousand fish. So that's not very profitable. Oops. Can't be. So the, it's better to go somewhere else where you can fish three days a week and then it's not going to close when the fish start biting. So I was thinking I'd go to Craig. There's lots of the black bears at Craig. I saw a lot of black bears when I was at Craig last year. 
go to Craig and shoot a black bear. And then I don't know. Maybe I, I would kind of. I was kind of wanting to do Sitka because I heard Sitka had like incredible spring fishing last year. It was like crazy good. And uh, I was at Mountain Point last year. It was really good there too. It wasn't like crazy. But now that Sitka has this awful, awful price, I mean, I don't think that's going to recover. They're not going to just go from six fifty to eight dollars, you know, because it's May. It could even go down. Uh, so I'll probably go to Craig. In Craig, they're still paying eight bucks. Which sounds a lot better to me than six fifty. Even if the fish is crazy, uh, six fifty is terrible. Mountain Point was good to me last year. It's pretty good. That's where Jonah fishes. And uh, I got in there and only fished the evening bite. I would go I would go back to catch a cam with the dog every every night. I'd go back and me and the dog would get some time at the dock and then go shopping, go to the store and stuff in the morning and go back out to the fishing spot. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Just tying up some baits here, Wilson. Tying up some baits, and then I'm gonna gonna get this fishing line off the floor, turn on the vacuum, and eat dinner. And this one is super salty. Let's check out chat. got four people oh stuart you made it <laughs> wilson's here stuart glad you came look there's wilson wilson stuart is on the chat he is we are making bait i don't know if you can see what you can see i got four unfortunate souls watching this Stuart. They probably tuned in and then fell asleep with their computer on. So you make the fly, Stuart. I got the my hair and fly. Oh, look, another one. Tied up like a multitude of these things. That was the whole plan. Figured some people wanted me to go live, and I'm not having anything to do. It's live since I can't get the internet on the boat but i gotta make bait maybe it's, maybe that's a good time something all you do is tie flies this is the same thing this is my version of a fly here it would behave a little bit where have you been Stuart? were you sleeping what time is it in scotland it's it's the it's the middle of the day so i guess you just woke up wonder what the fish whisperer is doing today probably gonna be whispering whispering about some fish whispering to the fish I gotta tie these things up quick. My hands are burning. Woo -wee. They're salt and so heavy that it just burns. Man, burning me all up. I gotta figure all this stuff up out, Stuart. I, I gotta moderate everybody. Everybody will be a moderator in my channel when I figure out how to do it. And then I haven't had no trolls come in here. What does this say? Wish you'd put your phone on landscape mode. We'll work on all that next time because I'm up, I'm doing a job here. Actually, pretty tired, and now I still have to make more of these stupid baits. Like, it's been the never-ending stream of herring. They just go on forever. Tide like looks like about two two and a half dozen. 
Gilliam was in here earlier causing the ruckus, cussing up a storm and talking about shooting whales and everything else that he could think of that would possibly be disruptive. I had like six or eight people in, Stuart, and my buddy started talking about shooting whales. <laughs> I don't blame them. It's really bad. Couldn't possibly say anything more offensive in today's world. Freaking Noah cops would probably come over here tomorrow. Looking for him. I didn't say nothing about that. Nose clip on. I am getting some practice at this. Put the nose clip on. These herring better work. I'm telling you what, if they're all balling up on my hooks and stuff. Read the chat. Let's chat. Stuart's good at chatting. Maybe, maybe the maybe the trolls will come now that Stuart's here. Stuart, bring some trolls to chat because it's really boring. If I could have some of your trolls, then I think it would be more entertaining for everybody. <laughs> I can't read this chat. Shalom, Florida. Good to have you. Yeah, Zed. Yeah, I'm still alive. I'm making bait for like days here. I'm making it for days, but I'm hoping that it all gets bit up tomorrow. They're going to bite. Zed, did you get my ebony? Need my ebony base and my sterling silver ant ant art. I don't know what the problem is. You got a custom. You got a commission for the for the what you call it. For the high-end sculpture, but you're not doing it. You're like, you know, if you made one out of silver and ebony, you could be like uh, Galileo or Da Vinci or something. Really classy. Yeah, we're making up like serious. This is serious, man. I've got four four downriggers going with. I I use about two two herring on each. On each of the downriggers. And then there's like hopefully some fish out there. Fish bites it, then I don't have time to do all this while I'm fishing. I can make up like a couple, but I gotta, I gotta like clean the fish and drive the boat. There'll be a bunch of people out there trying to run me over and everything. I gotta maneuver. I gotta clean gut fish. It's a lot of work. So the idea is you do this ahead of time. Trapper Scotty's probably got someone who pays to do this. I'm not that big of an operation. We're working on it. Yeah, I want I want to be able to see chat too, but I can't. Yeah, chat. Nice. I, I, I have another phone and I tried to look at like bring up the live on my other phone and it totally malfunctioned. And then I got all busy. I realized I didn't have my my tools for making all the lure, the baits up, and I, I had to run out of here. Killian got the Killian got the live covered for me while I was gone. I'm gonna have to watch it back and see what kind of shenanigans he pulled. There was a bunch of people in here when I came back. Killian had nine nine people watching. Okay, I got three little hooks left. Then I can relax. One, two, three. Yeah. Three. I haven't eaten dinner. It's it's night. It's almost my bedtime. But dinner's ready. Making bait, making up the hair. Good old Stuart, the fish whisperer. It's always on YouTube.
I wonder what what was your longest live stream, Stuart? I saw one once that was like three hours, I think. Ten hours. What's this? I can't even see the chat. Something about praying for them. That's good. We should all pray for each other. It's really good. Wilson's licking his foot. Oh, these little baits should work good. Must stay far, far away from where the Lincoln lives tomorrow. Screwed up immediately by Lincoln. <laughs> I'm ready to be done with this. My hands are just burning. Ordered some gloves, some nitrile gloves. We're good for this job right now. Burn it. Rapper Scott. Fish. Stewart the Fish Whisperer. Devin the Glacier Shark. Oh, hanging out on YouTube. Who else is live? Wendy's live. Either Wendy or Brenda. Be on there. Lucky enough to storm and see. Texas, Oklahoma. It's on here. Live stream. Burn, burn, burn. Blue herring works pretty good. It's kind of a neat trick. That Chrome Hunter Brian. Thank you. Second to last herring. Almost done. Almost done. Let's go. Burn like fire with that salt. It's rubbing salt in my wounds. Ooh, this might be my last hook. Destroyed that here. Totally destroyed it. Those are salted, super salty. Gonna keep a break this one. Paper clips are stuck together. I don't have time for that. Hmm. It doesn't seem to lay on there quite as well with the small fish. Broke one of my herring. One more. Strange. One 
more about it. Let's see if I'm trying to hide this. Let's see. Lose my needle. Pack up all this gear for tomorrow's journey to the ocean bar here. Ocean entrance. Gonna try and get them. I don't know if they're still gonna be there. Kind of slowed down. But hopefully. Ready to rinse my hands off, wash my hands, and eat some dinner. That's it. Those are the fruits of our labor. A whole bag of herring. Very small bag of herring. That bag is so small, I might as well just put them in with the other ones. Might as well just throw them in here. This wanted to be over. It's not over. We'll put these in the refrigerator. All going in my refrigerator here. I'll probably forget them. I'll probably even take them out there tomorrow. That burns. Oh, I got them all made up. They got a couple more packs. So it'll be fifty dollars in herring just right on the table. Fifty dollars for fuel, more, a little bit more prices. The new boat burns a little bit more fuel than the old one. Sweep up, sweep up the big stuff here. All these little tags at the bottom. That's the one thing about the polymer knot is it leaves all these little tags. They save one more and save these paper clips. It costs ten bucks. I thought that was bad, 10 bucks here, and then I saw them, they were even more down in the southeast. I'm like, whoa! <laughs> They're getting like 20 bucks for them somewhere else, like Craig. Oh, you guys are nuts. $20. Oh, my hair needle. I'm going to put the hair needle right, right with my fish so I don't forget it.
It is exactly real obstacles. Hey, all robot was grim. Yeah, we trapped it, Wilson. Right in the spot where all the dirt is. Dog. Let's have a cookie. Want a cookie? We got the chips of horse. Wilson has got chocolate. You are allergic to the chocolate. You can have one. You can have pizza. No chocolate. Pizza. 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 Well. That's it, you guys. That's all I got for you tonight. Working on getting the satellite. Working on getting the satellite for the boat. I oh, ain't got it yet. <laughs> oh, Lisa, you came. I'm so happy you're here. Who else is here? Zed. Stewart is messed up. What's wrong with Stewart? I don't even believe it. There's nothing wrong with Stuart. <laughs> I named the robot the Death Star. <laughs> because it kind of looks like the Death Star. I put that retired Rick sticker on the front of it and it doesn't look as so much like Death Star as it used to. That's okay. <laughs> There's one go outside. There you go. We got all these people coming in. What's this? You know we could plug the Christmas lights in. What would it take to plug the Christmas lights in, Wilson? Take too much. Watch out for the Death Star. <laughs> it's not snowing anymore. Look, we got our rose bush. I never did name the rose bush. It's going out of control. But it got some buds on there. It's outreaching the light. Is the roses it makes for us. Very nice. Wilson, what do you say? You wanna go outside? Wanna go outside? Hmm? Go outside for the dog? We'll take the dog outside. You guys wanna see my birds? I was gonna clean the birds out today and I didn't feel like it. You guys stink, you know that? You're a stinking bunch of birds, you are. Some of that. And then we got the quails. Quails chilling. You guys got enough water and everything? You're pretty low on water in there. I see that you laid me some more eggs. Good job. Things are vicious. Need to get the males out of here. There's more than one male. I thought I only had one male. But the females are getting all chewed up and stuff. See, look, the back of the head. Look at that one's all tore up. The males have done pulled the feathers all off of her. See that one that's on the attack? What is your problem, buddy? I only need one quail attacking in here. 
If I can see two, but see that one's a male. It's attacking everybody and jumping up. Maybe I should just kill it because I don't even need I don't even need to raise more quail right now. It's that one. Don't you guys think? You think it's that look how vicious it is. This guy. See him? You know what, buddy? You're in deep trouble. Whichever one isn't missing feathers off the back of its head. I don't really feel like dealing with it tonight. I'm not really feeling like... Who's digging? What's that digging sound? How many are there? Two, four, six, seven, eight. Got eight. That's the big one right there. These chickens are like super tame. All my chickens are like flighty. Yeah, Wilson, get out of there. <laughs> Man, did I ever do a bad job? Look, I got one hinge on here. Whoever built this, <laughs> need to call them to come back. <laughs> That's what my buddy was telling me. The only thing is, I'm the one who built it. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Wilson, what are you doing out there? Causing big trouble. That's what you're doing. Causing big trouble. What is going on? Where's, oh, you know what? I'm way behind on chat. I'm reading it. I'm reading the chat right now. I didn't realize that it was, I needed to scroll because I don't ever go live. So I don't know what's going on with this live stream and stuff. Just kind of guessing at it. Look at all these lures. Uh, when the people came to remodel my house, they're like, Devin. <laughs> they just like tied a bunch of lures up in big balls and <laughs> on them like Christmas tree ornaments. <laughs> I got more fish and stuff than I know what to do with. Listen, you better stay out of trouble out there. It's spring because it snowed a lot, but it's melting. You see the dripping? That is dripping. It's the spring thaw, Wilson, even though it snowed six inches. It snowed six inches. <laughs> uh, oh, Death Star. Death Star is on your pack. What's going on in chat, Stuart? Did the trolls finally show up? Yeah, the stream yard. Stuart, I sent you an invitation for this one. What happened to the invitation I sent? What happened? Oh, there's... What's that? Okay. <laughs> Good night. Thanks for coming. It's been a wonderful pleasure to meet everybody and have the privilege of going live on YouTube again. We'll try next time we have a good, good uh, something to do. I know the trolls, maybe they know that I just don't care. <laughs> I guess I, I really I couldn't even do anything about it right now because I don't know how to I don't know how to block them. I don't I don't have any of that stuff working. It's not working. Set you guys back in your little spot here. Oh come after me like that. What the hell are you guys doing in here? You wait for it's gonna happen next. We think it's gonna happen next in my house. Up on my camera like that.
Zed, you could do a live stream with this or the one of Zed's videos, Bachelor Cooking. Here it is. Um, fried chicken. Not very exciting. It's got fried chicken, cookies, and an orange. That's it. I'm gonna go. How do I how do I end this thing, Stuart? Stuart, why don't you go live? It's the middle of the day. Somebody else go live. It's your turn and stuff. <laughs> 